All right, everyone, welcome back. Thank you so much for stopping by. I appreciate it. So today I wanted to go over, should you go to a trade school or to an apprenticeship? And this was asked by one of my Instagram followers, a wannabe electrician. Um, I posted a little poll and asked, what should I make a video about? And that's what he asked. And I thought it would be a good video to make. Um, but first off, I just want to welcome one of our own viewers um, to this video. His name is Colin and he goes by the name uh, electrician for 12 um, um, usually in the, in the comments posting so I appreciate that but he is also known as Jeremy's uh, number one arch nemesis um, fighting for that first comment spot every video so appreciate those guys um, but I'm gonna go ahead and let him start off this video and uh, say his thoughts on trade school as he is currently enrolled in a trade school and almost finishing that up. And then uh, once he's done, I'm gonna go ahead and say my take on it um, as quickly as possible and then just wrap it up and that'll be it. So I'm gonna, without further ado, I'm gonna let Colin go ahead and say his thoughts. I left him some questions um, and then he's gonna answer that and discuss a little bit and then I'll jump right back in afterwards. So uh, stick with it and uh, I'll be right back. Thanks guys. Hey, what's going on, guys? Uh, my name's Colin Donahue. Um, and basically, Daily just asked me to compile a couple of things um, to talk about in a video about trade school. I am currently enrolled in Triangle Tech. It's a trade school out here in uh, Pittsburgh. And uh, I just thought I'd share my um, thoughts and slash opinions on it, like, so far. Because a lot of people... They don't know what they want to do. They know they want to get into the trade. They don't know if they want, they want to go to an apprenticeship, a trade school, et cetera. So, you know, there's different different avenues you can go. Um, but personally, for my best uh, interest, it was going to trade school. And uh, anyways, just getting into it. I think the length of school is 16 months. I have about four months left. I started in October last year. Most trade schools are pretty quick. 16 months was pretty much what I saw for the two trade schools that I was interested in. It's not, you know, a four-year um, uh, responsibility like colleges. Like, you have to go four years doing different stuff like that. Um, apprenticeships pretty much can vary. I mean, it just kind of depends on the person. You could stay with that same person for the next your whole life. Just... <laughs> I've never done an apprenticeship. Um, I can't really find a person to um, kind of work with. And that's why I kind of chose trade school. Um, cost, my cost for trade school was 37000 um, It was, uh, it just depends on what school you go to, what um, classes they offer, um, different you know, school state by state might be might be different, but for me it was thirty seven thousand. Um, hands on, uh, it's a lot of hands on work. It's a lot to uh, um, just practical applications, real life applications. Different schools have different things. Um, we had a residential lab, where I just you know the regular single pole three ways, four ways. Uh, receptacles, GFCIs, all that, you know, like casual um, applications that you would generally do on a job site, uh, services, different stuff like that. Um, also learned how to bid out jobs, different stuff like that. Um, Ohm's Law, uh, you know, motor control, we did motor control for you know, the industrial and commercial application, learned how to do commercial wiring, learned how to do a little bit of industrial wiring. It's hard for most schools to kind of get that stuff, but um, it's a great, great opportunity to learn. Um, if you do get, if your school does offer it, highly recommend. It's, it's hard to find people who you're gonna be able to um, apprentice that are in the industrial and commercial side of the um, aspect you either have to know someone that's willing to work with you because mostly commercial and industrial they move along pretty fast um, and books books are just kind of like 
um, your NEC code book, residential, commercial, uh, murder control book. There's a lot of book learning as well. If you don't like that, I, it's kind of, uh, you know, if you like book learning, then do it. If you don't like book learning, I wouldn't recommend it. Most of it, it is book learning. Most of it, it's 50-50. It's book and hands-on, so we kind of have to, um, it's kind of, it's a nice balance of things. They don't, you know, most instructors don't slam book work, you know, all the time. They do a nice kind of, uh, mix. Um, and then for my school I go to, they offer an associate's degree in specialized technology. Um, it's a nice degree to have. You can pretty much go anywhere you want once you're done with school. Uh, school helps place you through different uh, companies. A lot of companies, you know, just um, they hire from the school I go to. I chose trade school over an apprenticeship pretty much like I just repeating what I said earlier, I couldn't find anyone that I could apprentice and just kind of went with that and uh, just, you know, went that avenue. Um, would I do it again? Yes, I would do it again. Um, there's been not many regrets that I've had while I've been at the trade school that I'm currently at. So uh, pros, cons, it's just, it depends on what, what you pick. Um, what school you pick? There's a be there's gonna be a lot of different pros and cons. Some con some schools have, um, you know, good programs of different things that you can you know do. Um, it just depends. It you really can't. I can't. Couldn't you know for every school. I don't know every school's pros and cons. It it kind of be um, hard to explain that. It just depends on your state. Depends on you know what your school has and what your school offers, but. Yeah, I mean, if you're um, involved and you put worth the time, the effort of doing it, you know, you get what you put in it. It just, it, that's kind of the way that I feel. I mean, if you put, you know, 100% of effort in all the time, you're going to get 100% out. You know, instructors are, uh, you know, they, they work with you. And um, basically, that's kind of just the way I feel about it. Um, if you have any more questions, I'm sure you could reach through daily and I could try to steer you in the right direction. It's just, it's personal choice. Um, I love it, so, you know, I think most people, you know, if you put time and effort into it, it, it pays out. And that's with anything, I mean, obviously, if you could do an apprenticeship and not have to pay 37000 that'd be, you know, an ideal opportunity, but you might only get to work with that person you know, for such an extent of time, you can't really venture out in different places and uh, kind of limits you to really, like, if the person is just strictly residential, you might be strictly residential. It just, just depends. Schools give you kind of more flexibility of you can do residential, you can do commercial, you can do industrial, you can do, you know, all those avenues and pick all those avenues. But, um, yeah, it's just, uh, like I said, you know, just reach out through daily, you ask me. Um, thank you for, uh, thank you for listening to me and, uh, wish you well in your future. All right. Thanks, Colin. I appreciate that. So, um, I just want to go over my thoughts and opinions on trade school. Would I suggest anyone to go to trade school or would I suggest people to go to an apprenticeship? And like Colin was saying, I would definitely recommend people to avoid trade school if possible and go through an apprenticeship. Um, because when you go to um, a trade school, you are going down in money. You are paying 37000 or how much of your school costs. Um, you're going to be losing money. You're going to be paying, paying to learn instead of being paid to learn. Um, so that's the benefit of an apprenticeship is to get paid while you learn. Um, so you'll be earning money as you go instead of losing money and losing money. Um, so... Um, one other thing is um, Colin was saying that he's going to be getting uh, like a associate's degree um, and that might help him get a job. But as far as I as far as I know, um, you are not going to be guaranteed a job after you go through um, after you go through um, a trade school. 
Um, his, he said his school helps him out, so that may be an exception, I'm not sure. Um, but I, I've never heard of um, trade schools finding new jobs or anything like that. Um, I'm not really too familiar with them and their program and all that stuff, but maybe that maybe that is something that they do. Um, so that would be good. Um, but as far as I know, um, your uh, everything that you learn um, might not be credited um, and count towards an apprenticeship if you are trying to get into an apprenticeship. So say you go to trade school for 16 months, that 16 months might not count, count towards anything towards your apprenticeship and you might have to start all over and start from square one with um, zero hours or zero classroom hours. So that might not count towards anything. So if that is something that you're banking on, I would definitely make sure that uh, an apprenticeship by you um, is um, going to accept this uh, trade school that you go to before you even start. Um, I would check that out. Um, so an apprenticeship, you work towards your journeyman license, a trade school, you just work towards a certificate that might you have to start over all the way over and basically start from scratch through an apprenticeship anyways. But um, the trade school might help you get into an apprenticeship, but that's not guaranteed as well either. Um, so Colin was saying that his trade school costed $37,000. And for me, I went non-union route. Um, I just switched over to the union this year. But for my whole apprenticeship, I went through a non-union and that probably costed me. It's usually about a $4,000 to $4,500 program for four years. Um, and mine took me a little bit longer. So it's probably about $5,500 because I had to take an extra year to catch up on my school hours or my work hours so I could take my test for a journeyman. Um, but I believe in the union, IBW, um, the um, apprenticeship is free. And uh, I think you might have to work like four or five years afterwards, um, you might have to work for them um, or whatnot. Uh, that might be part of the agreement to work for them for so long to get that free schooling. Um, and then the last thing I wanted to say was, um, Colin was talking about the trade school um, gives you more freedom and flexibility to find a, um, if you wanted to go residential or commercial or industrial, um, the non-union that I went through, you could basically leave any company that you wanted to at any time. If I wanted to go quit my job at residential or commercial, I could go work for industrial or whatnot. So there is freedom on both sides, I guess, on that. Um, I think it's just more of the union side that you're kind of stuck at a certain place um, unless you are at a company for so long and request a rotate. Um, so hopefully that helps you guys out, gives you some information on um, the cost, um, what you get and what you don't get through a trade school, I uh, already said cost, and then um, kind of the flexibility and stuff. So hopefully this gives you um, an idea of what to expect, what not to expect, pros and cons. Um, and then if you got any further questions, drop them in the comments below. Um, I'll get back to that as soon as I can. And then also if Colin um, checks in or I can let him know if you guys leave some comments, I can send him your way and answer some questions that you guys have as well. But anyways, that's going to do it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. As always, if you enjoyed, make sure to hit the like button and subscribe. It would help the channel out and I'd appreciate it and help the channel grow. I'd love to see you guys back in the next video. Um, check the description down below for anything else in the link tree, especially the first link. I'll have all my stuff uh, if you are interested in that. Um, and then hit the notification bell to be notified when I upload or do live streams. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate it. God bless. Have an awesome rest of your day. Peace out.